Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with 86, and let's see if I can get you the information you're looking for as quick as possible, or at least I'll try to, with this keyboard. This is the Royal Clutch RK89. It does have a removable bezel that just snaps right off. Snapping this bezel off does expose the keycaps to some hovering, floating keycap style, if that's more your cup of tea, but ultimately just makes it easy for removing keycaps and for removing the switches underneath. More on the keycaps and the switches in just a moment. There are three levels of height on this keyboard. So you have the baseline one, which are just the rubber feet on the bottom of the keyboard, and that is as flat as it will go. Then you have kind of a second secondary height, which is a smaller kickstand within a larger kickstand, and then the larger kickstand so that it can sit up pretty tall. Now, despite its small size, it does feature a variety of 10 key. It's not a full-on 10 key that has the big plus and enter and minus and a big zero, but it does have a 10 key on it, so that is pretty useful. I do love having a 10 key, and I love the fact that they're starting to fit these 10 keys onto these smaller form factor keyboards for space reasons, and because I think some of these smaller keyboards look pretty nice. Now, it does connect either wireless 2.4 gigahertz dongle, which is magnetically connected to the back of the bottom of the keyboard or by Bluetooth. So you can connect it via Bluetooth or 2.4 gigahertz and there's multi-profile abilities in there. Going back to the PCB real quick, if you decide to do any swapping or upgrade ability, this is where Royal Kludge really shines. They offer you five pin PCB for pretty affordable price. That way when you want to swap switches or upgrade or lube your own switches, do something, go in your own route, you can swap them out pretty easily. The switches that come with it are three pin Otemu red switches though. These are linear switches that actually have kind of a tactile sound when I'm typing on it. This pretty much means that most cross stem keycaps you get will be able to fit on here. And because of the form factor that Royal Clutch goes with, it's pretty easy to match keycaps with their layout. So let's pause here and do a typing test real quick so you can check out what these red linear switches sound like and you can kind of get an idea of what you get with these Stock Otemu Brace switches that come with the keyboard. And don't mind me, I'm a little bit of a chicken pecker, a hunt and peck guy, whatever you want to call it. I try to brace people for that in each video because some people are just blown away by it. On the back side of the keyboard is a USB Type-C connection to go to the PC. This is the way I would recommend to play, and it's the best way to utilize the full capabilities of this keyboard. Why do I say that? Well, because there's two USB 2.0 pass-throughs on the back, which means if you wanted to plug in a gamepad and a mouse to it, or plug in your headset to it, this is a great place to do that to keep it out of the way. Now the version of the keyboard that I have is ice blue, so it's really kind of like a white blue color, but it features all of the cyclable features, so if you wanted to swap through lights, turn the brightness down, change whatever it looks like, uh, you've got reactive typing, so that when you type there's an explosion, or if you want it to swirl or visor back and forth, you can set that up on here as well, but it will only be in ice blue. Now it is April 2022, and I'm looking at this keyboard now. When I go and check, there's no software support for the RK89 right now, but the PCB and the keyboard, the company, they're very capable of making this happen in the near future. They could be working out some kinks or bugs with it, but at the time I'm looking at it, I don't have software support or access to download software support for it so that I can go in and customize it in the RK suite. With that being said, because it's a new keyboard, I highly anticipate that it will be either DIY software or it'll be just their own personal in-house software supported in the very near future. But most controls can be easily had on the keyboard, just be sure to reference your manual. And that's another thing, I didn't get a manual with this one, but I'm assuming it just got missed in the box. I would I would say it's safe to assume with all the Royal Clutch keyboards I've looked at, you will get a manual in your keyboard, not to worry there. My concluding thoughts really is just that if you're looking to start out, Royal Clutch offers some of the best bang for the buck option, and now that they're offering really easy hot swappable, if you wanted to upgrade, you can. And they're offering these really nice compatible keyboards that give you 5-pin options, so you can go 3-pin or 5-pin and just sort of make Make it your own thing as you go, change your keycaps out. It really is a good way to either just get a nice keyboard or a good place to start so that you can upgrade and do your own thing. Even if you want to put some dampeners on there or take them out and lube them yourself, this is quite easy to do on this keyboard and it's with the intention to be that easy for people. I've always got that feeling from Royal Clutch. They just make it simple and easy for you to either practice have something now, or be a little bit more of an elitist and kind of make it really nice for yourself. Anyways, I hope this was somewhat helpful and useful and I was able to run through most of the key points for you. Uh, you guys have a great day, night, whatever it is, and I'll see you in the next video that I do.